Howdy folks, welcome back. This is Old Car Auto Guy, and it's the 200th episode of this series. So today, we've got a little something special planned, which I'm gonna classify as part one to the demise of bubbles. So stay tuned. But first things first, we're gonna stop at Tim Hortons and grab a tea, and then we're heading out to the shop. So obviously we are back out to the shop and what we're calling this part one to the demise of bubbles is going to entail that we are going to run bubbles out of gas and do a zero to empty challenge. One small problem, maybe two or three small problems with that. One is Bubbles does not have a zero to empty calculator on the dash. It just has the gas light that comes on. Two, we're running oversized tires so the odometer actually reads slower than what we're actually going. Three, the oversized tires will affect the accuracy of the distance to empty. So I'm using roughly about a 10% margin of error here. So we're gonna measure and set the tripometer from the time the gas light comes on and uh, measure how far we can go on that much gas. So for those of you who have left guesses on social media, the winner of this challenge, like I said before, is going to win an Old Car Auto Guy t-shirt. This is in celebration of 200 episodes. It's also in celebration of 1,000 subscribers because we never did a giveaway. So in that post, you guys know what you're doing. You've made your guesses. Let's get on the road. So as we sit right now, we are at just over an eighth of a tank. I'm heading off to Penfield. So we should be able to burn off some gas that way and uh, buy up some time. So let's get this show on the road. So with the app, I will be keeping up with my speed at 110. No cruise control, oversized tires. The speedometer on the dash doesn't read correctly. So we're gonna try and maintain a steady speed and well, we're gonna get right to the point. So let's do it. So if you guys have watched my YouTube channel for any length of time, you know that we've done four distance to empty challenges in the past. This is the very first one that we've done with a vehicle that doesn't tell me exactly how many kilometers I have left. So we're gonna go by the gas light, like I said before. So as we approach exit 45, exit 45 is generally where we would go, turn around and head back towards St. Stephen. But today, I'm going to a friend's place to help do some drywall. And I'm surprised at how much gas this thing is sucking back so far. So you'll recall that when we left St. Stephen, just over an eighth of a tank. Now, we're only about 34 kilometers into this trip so far, and my needle is almost touching the empty mark. The light's not on yet, but I'm thinking we're gonna be there fairly close, and with uh, no cruise control, doing 110 kilometers an hour, I can't go any faster than that, because the, <laughs> the freaking thing shakes so bad that it's not fun to drive. So I've lo lowered the speed down to 110, and it seems to be okay, a little more tolerable. And so we're gonna go from there and, and hopefully that we can get to, get to this uh, distance to everything very, very soon. So no gas light yet, we just passed exit 45, onward. So 
So literally just as we pull off the highway to Penfield, the gas light has come on. So as you can see, we are 0.6 kilometers into this trip. As we make my way to my buddy's place, we will continue this countdown as we get back on the highway later on today. So we just finished our first coat of drywall mud. I'll come back again tomorrow when that stuff is dry. So we're getting ready to head back onto the highway. Well, as we once again approach exit 45 going in the other direction, we are 19.7 kilometers according to the gauge into this little trip and still no signs of, sh of stopping but uh, I'm thinking we might even make it clear back to St. Stephen which is about another 40 kilometers from here so we'll see that's my preliminary guess anyway and if you haven't seen the last distance to empty I'm gonna put that up here in the cards so that you guys can go back and watch that one we used our 2011 Ford F-150 to find out how far it would go and once again was quite surprised at how little the distance was in comparison to some of the other tests that we've done. So make sure you go back and watch that one and uh, hopefully you can uh, guess as close to the actual number without going over. Kind of like Price is Right, but not. So 32.9 kilometers in, the gas gauge is uh, actually the needle is buried. And we are about to pass the spot where we ran out of gas in the shop truck, which was right along here somewhere. And we're only about 16 kilometers from town, so I think we're actually going to get there. But obviously, I'll keep you posted. So if you've been following the time lapse, you'll know that we just turned around on exit four, which means we are now heading back to the east and we're still going with 53.9 kilometers on this tank since the gas light came on. So we're gonna keep going, see how far we take it. And every time I come up to a hill, she stutters. But I think that's just because it's a POS, not because it's running out of gas. But Done. Anyways, we're going to keep this rolling and see how far we're going to go. Well guys, I figured I would jump in here and give you another update uh, just to let you know that we are at 81.4 kilometers into this trip. I just spun around back there on exit 39 and as I was coming up the hill on the ramp, it was spitting and sputtered and I thought for sure that we were done. But I'm on the highway, I got her in high gear, and we are uh, back to normal, I guess, so I don't think there's anything going to happen just yet. So uh, I'll jump in here again once she's uh, stalling out, getting dead in the water. And uh, she's spitting and sputtering again. Yep, I think that's it. poker and neutral here. Yep. There she goes. She just stalled. That is all she wrote and we are at 85.3 kilometers. From the time the gas light came on in this thing to the time we are sitting on the side of the road. Now, I can't see the mile marker number back there, but uh, we're almost, we're probably less than a kilometer away from where we ran out of gas in the uh, shop truck. So, time to get the gas can out, get this thing filled up. Well, that's it guys. That is it for another episode of the uh, distance to empty and this time it's on part one. 
of the demise of bubbles. I hope you guys will stay tuned. This video is almost over. So some of you guys in the last Distance to Empty asked me if I was priming the vehicles before I started them that way, you know, to get purged the air out of the systems and all that stuff. And yes, of course I do. You got to on these fuel injected, uh, fuel injected vehicles. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to cycle the key a couple of times and prime that up. So just like that, we're back on the road. So guys, I'm glad you stuck with me through this video and I appreciate you sticking around and being a part of Old Car Auto Guy. There are four other ways that you can support this channel. They are in the description box below. The first one being bonfire.com where you can get Old Car Auto Guy merch as well. The second link is to Straight Six Fan, my co-host for the Car Guy and Six Fan show every Thursday night. Keep tuned. We've got lots more coming with the demise of bubbles. It's a series you're not going to want to miss. Also guys, license plates. I'm still looking for license plates to affix to the wall art project. And I'm going to need lots more. And thank you guys for those of you who have already sent them out. So my addresses are down below if you want to send your spare license plates. Guys, I end every video by saying, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. Let's do it again real soon.